Welcome back. Flour, crackers, onion, cayenne, paprika, garlic, ginger, cornstarch. Measurements in the description. But before we continue, click the bell for new videos. So I'm going to use two medium sized onion and we are going to cut these onions a quarter inch thick. You can cut them thinner or thicker, but this is how I am cutting it for this recipe for today. So I'm going to use these two onions and again I am going to cut them a quarter inch thick. But before we continue... I am adding all of the seasoning into a bowl. I'm going to mix properly and then I am going to add cold water. You can use room temperature water but I am using cold water and as I mentioned all of the ingredients and measurements would be in the description. So once this is mixed smooth, no lumps, make sure and dissolve that flour and cornstarch and all of the spices that was added. You want a nice thick and smooth mixture. So to save time, I did crush my crackers off camera and we are going to start to prepare our onion rings. Don't forget the measurements and the ingredients is in the description box. So continue, I'm taking the onion. As I said, they are quarter inch thick. You can cut them thinner or thicker. Place them into the mixture. I did not add any salt to this mixture because of how salty the crackers is, okay? And as I mentioned, I minced my crackers off camera. As you can see, I flavored the crackers with some pepper flakes and parsley. That's it. And then I'm going to place the onion rings into my crackers. You can use breadcrumbs, whatever you have on hand. This is what I had on hand and this is what I'm going to use. I didn't mix it too finely because I wanted little pieces of the cracker within the crust so it would be extra crunchy. So once all of my onion rings are properly well coated in this cracker crumbs, as I said the cracker is very salted so I didn't add any salt in the mixture and we are going to start to fry. Make sure your oil is at the right temperature. You can use the back of a wooden spoon and you can fry as dark or as light as you prefer. Don't burn them. Don't make, make sure that the oil isn't overheated. So now once it's done frying, I'm going to remove and enjoy and this is what my onion rings look like. You can use breadcrumbs. I use crackers because that's what I had on hand and I wanted to try it not with breadcrumbs but with the crackers that I have. Not adding any extra salt and seasoning because the cracker is already salted and all of the other spices that was seasoned in the mixture. Thanks for watching.